Matt Murray's got an awful glove hand. That's something I hear all the time. And before you leave fans or really anyone goes crazy here, I don't care what Matt Murray does. Matt Murray plays in the NHL. He is there in spite of any deficiencies he has in his games. What I care about is making sure that my goalies make the fewest mistake possible, make the most amount of saves possible, and to help educate the general goalie populace at large. When I saw this first goal last night go in, I thought it was a great opportunity to expand upon my last post of finding the root cause of goals. Majority of people will see this goal and immediately think, oh, again on the glove side, Matt Murray's got such a bad glove. He's got bad hand eye. He can't track, he can't this, he can't that. But when you look at the goal itself, you'll see that he's actually just off his angle. He's too far ahead of the puck, meaning he's giving up too much glove side. Doesn't matter how well he tracks, if he's giving up an excess amount of net at the NHL level, guys are gonna find their spots every time. The root cause of this goal is not a tracking issue. It's a positioning issue. Hopefully this helps people further understand that just because a goalie gives up a goal or multiple goals to one side, it doesn't mean that there's a deficit in their tracking. There could be a hundred other things that are resulting in that goal. Think critically when you watch goals against, whether that's on yourself or NHL goalies, so you can decipher what the root cause of that goal actually was.